Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to block uh, programs, uh, Windows apps, and other types of files using a program called Ask Admin. So this will work for various types of files, but not every kind of file, like, you know, like a Word document, it's not going to block that. Uh, it's mostly for types of things you could run, like apps. So it's a free program. They do have a pay-for version that has a few more uh, goodies to it. So when you download the file, it'll be a zip file. And Chrome, if you use Chrome for your browser, it'll be warning you that you know, this file might be harmful, so you'll have to use the keep option. And then when you run it the first time in Windows, it's going to say, we don't know what this is, do you trust it, and so on. You'll have to get past that as well. So of course, you know anything from the internet that you run, just you know, use it, do so at your own risk, but this seems to be OK. So once you extract the zip file, you'll have the ask admin executable. So you just run it. So now you have your main options here. Add a file to the block list at folder content, so it'll block the content of the folder, depending on what the content is, not folder access. And then, you know, remove and add, uh, export, import, and this password properties is for the pay for version. And then there's some extras up here that we'll go over in a second as well. All right, so we're going to first, let's add this uh, AVG antivirus. So it actually knows the path there, so that's blocked. And now we'll click on this button here, and we'll also go to this files folder. And we'll block this. And then we'll also add a folder. We'll add this other folder here. Okay, and then we'll go up to the extras here. We'll block the Microsoft Store. It just puts a check by it. Now we'll block uh, built-in apps. Let's block, uh, let's block Paint. And then Windows Components, let's block Task Manager. And then you have some options up here for settings, add to the context menu, uh, then restart Windows Explorer, then show hidden files, file extensions, and so on, which are kind of not really related to the program, just for File Explorer. So once you make some changes, you should restart Windows Explorer. Sometimes it'll say you need to, but if it doesn't, you should do it anyways to make sure it takes effect. Okay, so let's take a picture of this so we know what we're doing here on the other account real quick. Okay, let's save it where we can get to it. I'll show you why in a second here. Let's just put it on the E drive here. Okay, so now we're going to log in as the other user, who's a local admin, by the way. Okay, so let's open up that screenshot so we know what we're testing here. Okay, so we shouldn't be able to run the AVG antivirus app or program. App has been blocked. Contact your administrator. Okay, so we know that works. And then we shouldn't be able to get to this reflect file in the C files drive. Okay, so we shouldn't be able to run this. Okay, so that's been blocked. Okay, so now this other folder should be blocked. You'll notice we can get into the folder. So it's not blocking the folder, like I said. And we can't run this executable. It's been blocked. But we could open this text file here. We should be able to open this video file. First time doing it. Okay. Now, Task Manager, see if we could open Task Manager. Locked. Let's see if we could open up the Microsoft Store, because we blocked that as well. Nope. Can't do that either. OK, so let's go back to the uh, other user here who's running the program. OK, so you can see it did everything at uh, was supposed to do, and if you want to, you know, get rid of stuff, you could just remove selected or highlight them all, remove selected or press delete on your keyboard, and then just to be sure, I would restart Task Manager uh, once you clear something out of there. 
just to make sure it actually gets cleared off. And also be careful if you change something and then you get rid of this program, you might find it difficult to uh, fix what you did here. So that's another thing you should do. You know, to be careful and use this at your own risk because you could cause some problems if you start blocking, you know, the wrong type of thing or going into the uh, Windows folder and blocking certain files in there and then your computer's not going to start and so on. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download this and then you could uh, try it out for yourself and then you could kind of block apps as needed. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.